In this video, I will tell you how to host your website on Hostinger. It will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and I will probably be focusing on HTML and WordPress. However, you can host other CMS or any other platform as well using the same way as like this. And for those who are looking to buy their hosting from Hostinger, I have added a special discount link in the description of this video along with a special two of the finest codes through which you can get up to 91% off when you buy your hosting from Hostinger using the discount link and using the coupon codes. So now let's get started on how to host your website on Hostinger. So this is the normal, you know, the Hostinger page which you can get from uh, the description of this video. Now I'm going to log in into the panel and I'm going to show it. So here I am in their H panel, which is very known, very famous, uh, you know, panel they uh, created for the industry specific. Now I am going to choose a domain, and then I can upload. For instance, I am going into this one. I can also manage from this one if I wanted to manage a specific one. But I, if I wanted to go on, uh, I'm, I can select this one by simply going to manage. And once I click over here, you can see over here that I can have to move to the file manager over here. Now here I can, you know, select my domain as well, where for which domain I wanted to. So I'm going to shift to this domain. So you can see over here, I'm into this domain. I can select my domain as per my convenience. And then I'm going to move on to the file manager over here. So if you want to host an HTML website, this is going to be the file manager for this. And if you want to host your WordPress over website, you can host, select the WordPress over here. So for instance, you know, for those who wanted to install a WordPress or host a WordPress website, simply select the WordPress over here. You can select the overview. You can create as much copies as you want over here. I'm going to show you over here as well. This is a for a specific account which is being created over here. However, if you want to host, uh, simply move on to your auto installer over here. And here you can select your WordPress to host your website on. You can also select uh, WooCommerce, Joomla or other by selecting this one as well. And you can see over here that uh, you can select other one by selecting this from, there are so many options to available. So for instance, if you are going with the WordPress, which is one of the most industries famous website platform, we're going to simply select uh, WordPress over here, simply select this one, or you can also select WordPress from over here as well. So either of these you can select as per your, your convenience. So let's say we're going with the WordPress, simply select over here. Uh, now, you know, you are going to be uh, selecting over the website title. For instance, you know, I'm going to create a website. Uh, I'm going to create a website on uh, as per the domain. I'm going to select over here. I'm selecting my email address. I'm going to uh, selecting the username and I'm going to select, for instance, you know, I'm going to select any password as per my convenience. However, you can see over here that there are few restrictions or limitations, you know, which is a very good as a in comes to the security point of view that you need to have one number, one symbol one uppercase one lowercase use a to five fifty characters only letter letters so i'm going to use one so you can see i'm just you know done with this so for instance i if i wanted to install on the main website you can select this one if i wanted to have a specific path for instance i wanted to have uh, my website slash blog i can select this one so i'm going to select this one as well over here as well i'm going to select this one and i'm then gonna make make it over here so i'm going to select this one and I'm going to select with the next one so you can see that i can select my wordpress uh, from over here and uh, i can select my automatic updates i can select my php version uh if you do not know about this do not change about any of these any of these things unless and until you know simply select the install over here and you can see that uh, i need to change up my password to come up with something very good one so I updated the password and then now I'm going to move and I'm going to install over here. So you can see over here that uh, if I wanted to, you know, uh, update my existing file, I can over here or I can even write my current files over here. So I'm going to close this uh, because I wanted to have it in a specific domain. So a uh, specific path. So I wanted to change the path over here as well. So for instance, I'm writing over here this one. I'm selecting the password. And now in this one, I'm going to make it a separate directory or A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And uh, you can see right now it's uh, creating uh, my WordPress website on Hostinger. So you can see that uh, it's being uh, finally created and I can, you know, manage it from here as well. Just a second. 
so you can see over here uh, this is my installation and you can see over here that uh, there are two installations which i did right now this one is the one which i did right now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to select over here sorry So I need to install the HSS, uh, SSL certificate for the compliance. However, you can see over here that the, this is now live. So this is how you can easily create. You can word, uh, log in into the WordPress over here by selecting the WordPress admin. And then you can optimize your campaign over here. You can turn on your HTTPS, you know, by selecting this one as well. You can see the light speed, object cache and everything you can do over here. Again, I do not recommend, you know, for those, you know, who do not know, do not change these things. So here I am into the control panel. Uh, which is being you know coming on and here I can manage my tools everything from over here to get it started So yeah, this is a procedure for uh, you know uh, running uh, WordPress now for uh, if you want to run a simple HTML file for instance if you wanted to run a file like this, you know, which Have a, like a template like this if you want to host a HTML and now moving on to the HTML part So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this file and go to the file manager over here once you select the file manager, you can see over here that I wanted to access for this domain specific and I'm going to select this one now to ma host my HTML website. This is a procedure for that. So once you're over here, you can see over here, you have to move to the public HTML, simply select the public HTML over here and then you can see over here. Now uh, what I'm going to do is I need to create another folder over here in the public HTML and I can name it as a uh, new book okay i'm going to name it uh, whatever you know your name should be you can upload over here and then you can you know select over here you can upload your files over here so i'm going to upload my file so this is you know i'm going to upload over here i can you know select the file folder and i'm going to simply select over here so you can see they are asking you know for uploading and i'm going to simply upload over here so it may take a little while, you know, because, you know, it's uh, there are about 45 files, you know, this is usually for HTML file who wanted to host their HTML files. You can follow this pattern. And now you can see that it is being now finally uploaded over here. So I'm going to simply select this to copy it. So because I can show in front of you. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm going to write this domain and I'm going to select the new book slash this folder where I uploaded the file. So I can show you that it is being uploaded on the domain. You can see over here the title and you can see that the file is uploaded. So you can use either of the way to host your website on Hostinger or you can also install other platforms including Joomla. Hostinger offers so many variety of options to use. Guys, make sure if you like this video, make sure, you know, if you're going to buy a hosting from Hostinger, make sure to use the link in the description. That is how I support this blog and tutorials. And plus I'm also adding to the finest coupon code through which you can get amazing discount when you buy your hosting from Hostinger. So good luck with your hosting from Hostinger. Good luck.